What's up guys welcome to Apex. Today's video is going to be quite interesting. I'm going to show you 10 best tips, tricks and features on Xiaomi's MIUI. Now before we start, if you're new on the channel, be sure to subscribe and become a part of Apex community to watch some interesting contents on One UI, MIUI, Android applications, Galaxy watches and anything related to technology. Do subscribe and leave a like for this video if you find it useful. Now let's get rolling. The first one is second space. This is a fantastic feature on MIUI which can create a second space on your phone which means you can use different login IDs, different apps and keep all your data private. It's basically an all new private space within your phone which can be accessed with a different fingerprint or passcode. To enable this, go to settings, special features, tap on second space and then just follow the steps here. Once you set a different fingerprint for the second space, we can easily switch from primary space to secondary space in a jiffy. And you can do this by using respective fingerprint to open the primary or the secondary space. We can also import data from the primary space to second space, which is cool. This is like secure folder on Samsung's One UI, but on MIUI, this feature creates a whole new phone within a phone. Let's look at the second one. Here you see a tiny little bar which pops up when we play a video on YouTube. We can just tap on this to open an all new window and Xiaomi calls it a video toolbox. As you can see, we have options to record, screenshot, cast the video on a bigger screen. In the next row, we have got a couple of more options. We've got upscale. This option will upscale the resolution automatically when it's playing a 720p video. It also says using this feature will increase power consumption. It's up to you if you want to enable it. Uh, it is not going to make too much of a difference, but yeah, this feature is cool, which you can use. And we've got an option for style. When we tap on this, we've got different video effects here. As you can see, original, vibrant, HDR, nostalgic, black and white, warm, etc. Just for an example, when I tap on black and white, the whole screen turns into black and white. You can watch any video in your preferred style or preferred effects. We have another icon called picture. When we tap on this, we get two different toggles or switches which will enhance animation and contours. Right below these options, we also have a few applications which we can open. We can even swipe through to access any of these applications and just open it. It will open up in a pop-up view. That is just fantastic. This is an amazing feature on Xiaomi's MIUI. Now to enable this feature, you need to go to settings, tap on special features. Here you will find this option, video toolbox. You can just enable the switch and enjoy this feature. Let's move on to the next one. This is clear speaker. If you feel that the speaker on your phone is blocked or you are not getting normal sound effects from the speakers, then there are possibilities that it could have got blocked by dust. To clear this off, we have an option on MIUI. Go to settings, tap on additional settings. Here you will see an option to clear the speakers. Just tap on this. It is going to play a 30 second audio to clear the speaker. This will definitely come in handy at times. Now the next one is quick ball. Here we have a tiny little arc on the edge of the display. We can tap on this to open few basic options such as recent apps, screenshot option we have here, back button, lock button, etc. Let's say for some reason your phone's lock button is not working, you can use this virtual button to lock the screen. Likewise, the other options also will come in handy. Taking screenshot is much easier using this feature. To enable this, all you need to do is go to settings, go to additional settings, enable quick ball here. All right, now let's go to the next one. We've got memory extension or virtual RAM. This feature is still catching up with many devices, but MIUI started offering this on Android 11 itself. This is basically an additional RAM converted from the main storage space, which will come in handy if your phone has lesser RAM or your multitasking is such that the default RAM utilization is to its fullest. Not really sure how effective this feature is, but yeah, we do have it. Just open the settings, go to additional settings, here you will see memory extension. Just turn on the switch, it says add 3GB of RAM by occupying storage. Use this feature only when there is enough storage space available on your device. Definitely a feature to check out. All right, now let's go to the next one. This is blur app previews. This feature will blur the app reviews when you open the recent applications. Let's say if you are sitting with someone and you don't want them to see some information or media, which will show up when you open recent apps, if it is running in the background. You can enable this by going to settings, tap on home screen settings, scroll all the way down to see an option blur app previews. You can enable the switch for all the apps or selected applications. 
maybe gallery or banking applications would be appropriate. All right, now let's go to the next one. Here we have got something called knuckle double tap to open Google Assistant. Sounds interesting, isn't it? We have seen different ways of waking up Google Assistant. Here is a unique way of waking up the Assistant on MIUI. You can knuckle double tap anywhere in the middle of the screen to wake up Google Assistant. This feature can be enabled by going to settings, additional settings, gesture shortcuts, launch Google Assistant. Enable the toggle knuckle double tap. We can also set press and hold power button to wake up the Google Assistant. A very unique feature on MIUI. Now the eighth one is launching the camera when the screen is locked. Yes, we can launch the camera application on MIUI by just double pressing the volume down key even when the screen is locked. Just open the settings, go to always on display and lock screen, scroll down, under others, we can toggle the switch which says double press the volume down button to open the camera and that's it. Whenever you want to take a quick pic or a video, just double press the volume down button. The camera will open even if your phone is locked. Amazing, isn't it? All right, now the ninth one is application lock. This is a privacy feature which enables us to lock a particular application on the phone. If you are someone who let others access your phone, maybe someone in your family or your friends, and if you don't want them to access a particular application on your phone, you can set a fingerprint lock or a pattern lock on any apps that you desire. You can do this by going to settings, go to applications, app lock, and then set a pattern to unlock. And then you can also set a fingerprint unlock method, which would be more convenient. This is a useful feature you must know. The last tip is about themes. The theme store on MIUI is quite advanced and has great collection of themes. It not only lets you apply a particular theme, but also lets you customize it by enabling us to select specific items from the themes. While applying a theme at the bottom, it shows the items such as lock screen, home screen, system, and icons. We can select the one we want instead of applying the whole theme. If you don't like the icons, just uncheck it and apply the rest. It doesn't stop here. When we download a theme, each component of the theme, such as wallpapers, icons, lock styles, ringtones, fonts, etc., will be kept in different folders so that we can later apply them separately. It's a great customization tool offered by Xiaomi on MIUI. These are the 10 useful tips and tricks for Xiaomi's MIUI. Let me know what do you think about it. Do share your thoughts in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe to the channel and become a part of Apex community. That's all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.